What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here. Another international break comes to a close. Another successful international break for the Tottenham lads. We'll start with a man on fire, Christian Eriksen. Oh man, the guy is just <laughs> oozing class. Doesn't matter if it's for Spurs or for Denmark. He is just absolutely on fire at the moment. He can't stop scoring, assisting. He got a goal against Montenegro uh, in a 1-0 win um, with his left foot from another yeah. goal from outside the box. And he scored a penalty in a 1-1 draw. They've earned a place in the playoffs now, Denmark. And he's been a completely a talisman. He's actually finished qualifying as the fourth top goal scorer in the whole in the whole of qualifying. He's, he's carrying that country, isn't he? Really is. And when you've got Lord Bentner up front, you have to <laughs> exactly you have to carry you have to carry that country. Also, he created 37 chances wow. in qualifying, and that was the most out of any player in the it's whole amazing. of Europe. He deserves to be at the World Cup, Christian. To England now. England played two games. We had a lot of players in actually in the England squad. We had Kane, Trippier, Eric Dyer, Deli Ali, and uh, Harry Winks all mm -hmm. in the squad. Uh, Harry Kane obviously scored two goals: one against Slovenia, one against Lithuania. So he captained the side. Uh, Southgate made him captain for the two games, and mm -hmm. he led by example, really, hundred percent. And he, you know, he got the last-minute goal against Slovenia. Yeah, last little touch mm -hmm. after a, from across from Walker. And a uh, penalty against uh, Lithuania, which Deli Ali won, which some may argue was a bit theatrics. But... <laughs> Deli up to his old tricks again, basically. But, you know, I thought it was a penalty. I thought it was a foul, personally. So, um, Harry Winks got man of the match. Wow. He was sensational. Well, his debut. England are crying out for a player like that in the middle 100%. of the park for a long time. Someone who actually gets the ball and looks forward, looks to play the ball forward and not just sideways and just is scared of losing the ball all the time. It was actually, he put some pace in the play and it was actually really refreshing to see and that's why he was given out of the match. You know, people say like it was only Lithuania but he was actually the only England player on the pitch that actually looked like he wanted the ball, actually making things happen, moving forward. I thought he was absolutely sensational and, and showing yeah. up players that are already there. Trippier started against Lithuania, yeah, and and but he didn't start against Slovenia, and Dyer started against Slovenia and didn't start against Lithuania, so they all got some game time for England. Uh, obviously, they've already quali they qualified for the World Cup after yeah. they finished top of the group. And I'll uh, just quick on Harry Kane. Um, that's now eight goals. <laughs> no, no, eight <laughs> goals in fourteen competitive games for him. The stats just keep coming, and that's seven goals in his last six internationals. For oh Harry my Kane. days! So can he do it for England? I think so. Well, he's doing it for England. <laughs> he's doing it for England. Uh, let's move on to Belgium. Mr. Jan Vertonghen. Jan, it was all, this international is probably all about Jan Vertonghen, <laughs> wasn't it, for Belgium? Yeah. They made him captain for that game. 97 yeah. appearances for Belgium. All-time leading caps now for, for, for Belgium. Unbelievable achievement for Jan Very good, yeah. Like, so happy for him. You know, he's, he's been consistent for so, for so many years. It shows what quality player is for a, a country like Belgium. He's their all-time leading cap, um, Absolutely. international cap. Absolutely. That's fantastic. He also scored on, um, against Bosnia when they won 4-3 um, on his 96th appearance. Can you score for Tottenham, please? Yeah, he hasn't scored in a while. He's been scoring for Belgium. <laughs> I know. What's going on, Jan? Get, get that goal, <laughs> Spurs. And Toby played both games as they also beat Cyprus 4-0. So, um, they, and they obviously, they already threw to the World Cup. So, yeah. well done to the Belgian boys. Dembele was injured. We'll move on to Skipper Hugo. Made a world-class save. Yeah, that's Absolutely right. Absolutely sensational Unbelievable. save. In a 1-0 win against Bulgaria. Yeah. Unbelievable save. You have to see that. Ball comes in. It was, a, I believe, it was a header from close range. Real quick reactions. We've seen it so many times from Hugo Lloris. And he's doing it for France as well. So, he kept uh, one clean sheet and he let in one goal. And um... they, That's right. They And the second game, they beat Belarus 2-1. So yeah. one to one against Bulgaria, two on one against Belarus, but they obviously they topped the group. They're already through. So how did Serge Aurier get along for Ivory Coast? They drew nil nil against Mali, um, and he was booked. Um, but I, I know, I know <laughs> classic he, he, Serge, yeah, very Serge. But um, he played. That was the only game they played. It was a bit of a disappointing international break for Ben Davis and the Welsh team. That's right. They they beat Georgia 1-0. To, to get themselves right back in the Yeah, which things. means they just needed a draw in the last game with Ireland to, to um, get a playoff spot. And unfortunately, actually, uh, they lost 1-0. I'd say the goal wasn't Ben Davis' best moment, I don't think. No, it wasn't. Um, he actually had a chance in the last 10 minutes. I don't know if you saw it. No, I didn't see uh, that. It was, just, it was a shot off target. It was a kind of a slight chance. Mm. But anyway... He actually um, played left back for one, actually, in the yeah. second game. He didn't play in the, in the left centre-back. For me, I thought days. Wales Wales looked good for the winner in the first half. And then Ireland came out and the luck of the Irish came through. Yeah, James came getting the winning goal. Yeah. Um, it was actually a shame because Davis was trying to see out the ball and 
Yeah, and he was just robbed of it, and I think he led to a goal, unfortunately, and it was it wasn't his best moment. But well, I'm happy it's happening for Wales, not for Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> Next one was um, Davidson Sanchez, Colombia qualified for the World Cup. They qualified, but they they actually lost two one to Paraguay in the first game, um, and he, he started both games, and he, they he, they drew one all to Peru. Am I right in saying yeah, that um, in the first game they were one 0 up till like the last ten minutes? Yeah, I think they conceded two goals very yeah. late on. Mm-hmm. Um, um, and yeah. that Peru game is actually a little funny thing happened um, with Falcao. I don't know if you saw it. No. Um, so Peru and Colombia, they both needed a point to qualify each. Mm-hmm. Um, Colombia went one nil up, and Peru equalised with like fifteen minutes to go or so. And Fal- and you could see Falcao going up to all the uh, Peruvian defenders and and saying, "Come on, let's keep it one <laughs> one." <laughs> funny thing about that is um, Ospina was in goal for Colombia. Yeah. And apparently, I haven't seen the goal, apparently he made a howler for the Peru goal. And because of that Peru goal, um, because of that howler, Sanchez is now not going to the World Cup. Alexis Sanchez. Yeah, <laughs> Alexis Sanchez, Class. yeah. Uh, so the howler uh, from Ospina yeah. has uh, led to Sanchez not going, so maybe there's a bit of tension there. <laughs> to South Korea and Hyun Min Song. Yeah, they played two friendlies. Yeah. Uh, he started both of them up front. He they so already qualified, right? Yeah, they were qualified. But these weren't qualified. These yeah. were friendlies. They lost four two to Russia. Yeah, uh, he didn't score, but he did score in the next game. They lost three one to Morocco, but uh, Son scored a penalty. Ah, go on, hear me. A lot so, of uh, quite a few penalties we've scored this international break. Yeah, Kane, well, well, Ericsson, and Son. So there's something of note in the South Americans as well because Kayla Navas is apparently an injury doubt for the Spurs game now. Yeah, because of the injury for Costa Rica, right? And he got in, he got injured, didn't he? So now he's a major Panama, doubt. Yeah, because Panama made the World Cup for the first time ever. Because I don't think it's the goalkeeper that's going to win us the game. Yeah, well, you know it? they're clocking out Bale, the keeper. Yeah, true. True. Maybe bold well for Spurs. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. And last but not least, the great Josh Onuma. Uh, and Carl Walker Peters. And Carl Walker Peters. They both started. Oh, Carl Walker Peters started both games uh, for England under twenty one. Mm-hmm. So they yep. beat Scotland three one, and they beat I think Andorra one nil. Um, but on I see Onoma's goal. Onoma scored an absolutely fantastic goal. In Unbelievable game. goal! I don't even know how he did it. What techers for that? Yeah, corner coming. Corner comes out, gets cleared to the edge of the box, yeah. and he volleys it from about 25, 30 yards, right looping over the keeper. Fantastic goal from Josh Onoma. Uh, and apparently he's been playing really well for Aston Villa. So a lot of good things coming from Josh Onoma. Dembele said it was going to be the year of Onoma. Hope, but unfortunately just wasn't for Spurs. Yeah, it's a shame because I really, like we've said before, like, I would really like to see him play for us this season. So yeah. I think he's got a lot to offer and I think he's grown as a player, especially since that World Cup. Just a quick note on um, Vincent Janssen. They were 2-0 up against Sweden, looking to win 7-0. Uh, he started the game and... Needing five goals in the second half, they took him off at half time. He's supposed to be their go-to man. <laughs> yeah, well, he wasn't good enough to stay on. They knew they knew they needed loads of goals at half, the second half, so they took him off. <laughs> <laughs> Can afford it. Says a lot. It's a shame. Uh, but I know he's he has scored a couple of goals, hasn't he? For Fenerbahce, I believe. Yeah, or maybe one. He scored two in his first two. One of them was a penalty. Of course it was. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> that wraps it up. Uh, Bournemouth at home this weekend. We're having our preview out tomorrow, so have a look out for that uh, vlog on Saturday. We're going to be Grandpa Brian is back in action this weekend. Exactly. And then off to Spain, off to Madrid. Absolutely pumped for that. We're going to be away for three days. Spurs in the Bernabeu. Just, it doesn't get much better than that. Can't wait. And the games come thick and fast after that. And then there's Liverpool, then West Ham in the Cup, then United. And then Madrid again. Oh, my it's just, it's just Up until the next international break, it's massive, massive game after game. Oh. So keep tuned for that. Look out. Like, subscribe if you like our content. Comment below. Let us know how you thought the Spurs boys got on an international rake. And as always, Cody Spurs! Cody Spurs.